Hello, my name is Evan and I'm a student at Exeter College. I chose to travel because sometimes the bus doesn't, just doesn't turn up and it makes me late and I don't want to be late. Hello, my name is Ryan and I'm a student at Bristol Free School. I chose to travel because the bus service in Bristol isn't very good and it causes problems as people are late as well. Hello, my name is George and I have a work placement in the city centre. I chose to travel because we need to be at places on time and when the bus is running late because of traffic or a breakdown, we are late. I also want to change the student bus passes because we need to use them earlier. If we wait until after 9 o'clock, we, we are late and we will get into trouble. My name is Stacey. Here are some examples of our experience on Bristol buses. Problems with drivers. Some our drivers are rude. Some drivers don't stop even when I have my hand out. Some drivers don't always stop at each stop. Some drivers don't stop when I want to get off. We feel that drivers don't really understand the needs of disabled young people. For example, some and young people may struggle with money, having to consistently pay the fares every week, as well as numbers or not being able to understand what the drivers are saying. There is never enough room for wheelchair users. The space has been used for luggage and has always been filled with buggies. You also have the problem where the luggage area is, takes up too much space and most of the time it is not used. I feel that, that um, this can be helped by reducing the luggage area and mm, allowing more space for people in wheelchairs. We changed mental health with our campaign issue because we want to make people more aware of mental health issues among and young people and how it affects our lives. We want to talk about mental health and this disabilities <laughs> because a lot of disabled young people have poor mental health. Some say they're sad all the time. They can't go to school or college or work. They are very lonely and lose contact with their friends. I would like to make adults more aware of the mental health issues thoughts and feelings of young people with poor mental health in Bristol. Sometimes they hurt themselves, and sometimes, very sadly, they feel like ending their own lives. Things that hurt, when people make you feel you're not good enough. When you can't sleep, when you feel left out. Social media, when it looks like everyone else is having fun. Online bullying. Spreading rumours online. Things that can help. Talking to people, listening to music, getting out and about. We think the problem with mental health services to send young people are the kind of services are limited and they're not available. There is a general lack of mental health services for young people. Counseling sessions are too short. Counseling session waiting lists are too long. What we want to see happen. Oh, we right. want services to be available with less waiting time. We want to see early intervention. We want to see training for teachers to spot the signs of poor mental health and learn effective ways to act and support those with mental health. We want to see a range of therapies available. We want to see art therapy, music therapy, sporting activities, Outdoor activities, group work. We have chose bullying as our campaign because we have been bullied and we wanted to stop. We are bullied by people we know and strangers. We are bullied by young adults and by, by young children. We are laughed at because we, we walk, talk, sound and look different. We are bullied at work, on the street. In shops and online. We are bullied at work. Mostly we are 
bullied in school or college. We've been beaten up and we've been spat at. Punch oh. over. Spat at. Called names. Pushed over. Slapped. What we want. We need parents to be made more responsible. We need bu a bully to stop hurting people. We need to make you understand how it feels. We want. We need to help people who have been bullied to speak up for themselves. We need workshops on how to stay safe. We need we need you to take bullies seriously. But most of all, we need bullying to stop. Stop! stop!